let's now take a look at what really unfolded in Pennsylvania eight hours ago. Loud bangs were heard at the rally. Footage showed Trump grimace and then raise a hand to his right ear before ducking. Secret Service agents covered the former president up and rushed him off stage soon after. Blood could be seen on his ear and face. The FBI has called the shooting an assassination attempt, adding that it is still an active crime scene. The FBI has also said that they have tentatively identified the shooter. An FBI official said at a news conference in Pennsylvania that they are working to attempt to identify the suspect and his motives. Investigative agents, evidence response teams and other personnel from across the country have been deployed. A video surfacing on social media shows a Secret Service sniper allegedly firing on the shooter. Well, earlier the Secret Service said that Trump is safe and that measures for his protection have been implemented. Trump spokesperson Stephen Chong has also said that he is fine and is being checked out at a local medical facility. The Secret Service has confirmed that the shooter was neutralized by them. But there is speculation on whether he died from a self-inflicted gunshot wound or was shot by someone else during the incident. An attendee was also killed during the incident. According to the Secret Service, one rally attendee is dead and two are critically injured. The Secret Service has also confirmed that the shooter was outside the venue. He fired multiple shots from an elevated position before he was killed by the agents. Multiple law enforcement officials have referred to the shooter as a sniper. The New York City Police Department has increased its uh, deployment at the Trump Tower and other locations around the city. The NYPD will also increase security at 40 Wall Street and City Hall. Trump Tower in Manhattan is already under the watch of the NYPD, even though Trump seldom visits his former residence. Now, the incident came after a busy day of campaigning for both Trump and U.S. President Joe Biden. In an address from Delaware, Biden condemned the shooting, saying there's no place in America for this kind of violence. Trump also said in a truth social statement that he knew immediately that something was wrong. He said he heard a whizzing sound, shots, and immediately felt the bullet ripping through the skin. Trump said he was shot and hit by a bullet in the upper part of his right ear, adding that it is incredible that such an act can take place in our country.